Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going to be creating an add to cart counter button. Yeah. So increase and reduce items on add to cart pages. Let me zoom in so you see what I'm talking about. So minus to reduce the number and plus to increase the number for all screens. So stay with me guys. If you're joining me for the first time, I am Fidel Days. My friends call me Fidel. You're going to love this interactive section. Um, and if you find this useful in any way, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification. So when I drop a new video, you will get the notifications and that. So let's dig in and um, do so. This um, um nice food shop one app i created one time ago so we'll be looking at this button this button we are going to be creating a new one first thing first we are going to do is to duplicate this pie this frame and then move this one aside so we are working with this duplicate then next thing we are going to do is to do a way with this button we have here so that we can create a new one and add it into this place now let's go back into the frame so we are going to start very quickly first thing is to click on the t button on your keyboard for test you already know that to be a designer it's a new thing it's not a new thing for you so we create our first number one to easily create a button on figma we're going to talk about that on a different file but when you type a test just add shift a to create an auto layout automatically you've created um, a button you can increase and reduce the the size of the button any way you want it now let's just continue what we are doing um change this interaction to fix fix and then we are going to be using a width of 40 and a height of 40 for this here we have it radio remove the horizontal padding of the frame to zero make it zero so that it won't extend to the right let's zoom in so you see what i'm talking then you drag to center this one now let's change the color of the text to white and the color of the frame let's fill it with black yeah and the next thing to do is to add a very nice radius let's use five so this so our one is already looking good so let's um duplicate this number and also duplicate it again to have three now we can change these to minus and this can change it to plus yeah so for our minus and plus frame we are going to be using a height of 25 and then in the frame we remove the vertical pattern to zero now to center this minus we can open up the pattern for the, the vertical and I just add a padding of two to shift the minus down a bit. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. We can also do that for the plus. I'll just be fast about this. Okay, here we go. We have our plus, our minus, and our one. Um, let me let me rename 
the green. Let me make this plus btn. Make this yeah for well, easy recognition now it creates a very nice frame around this tree control alternates g for well, a very fast frame you already know that let's rename this to b let's just make it counter yes now to evenly distribute the space and within these three items we can easily do it distribute the vertical spacing then i want to use the spacing between the three of them as oh, sorry about that as one now we have our counter looking just like this now we have our one let me rename this for we are going to be having a set a component set so let me make it easier for renaming so we have our counter one let's duplicate this with you can use alt shift that's what i just used so you can also use ctrl d to duplicate it into how many places you want it to be so we have seven yeah seven we do so these we can rename we can change to two let's make this three i'll just be quick about it. and also for the naming of our counter also i'm going to be quick about it we can change this to two these to three yeah there we go now we can put all of them together and add a nice create component set now these will get tricky when i renamed and i add a stroke one this way it comes in in our property now we can rename this property but leave it so we can we have our one two three four five four each of these um, components we just created. Now we have seven variants. Now we can just add a very nice prototype. So on click on the plus to take us to this next frame. Yeah, on tap, change to component two. We don't need to add any animations, smart and smart and me. You can just leave it as instant. So and click on the minus of this and take us to this click on this take us to this click on this take us to this i'll be quick about this there we go we have our we have our component set our counter component set for add to cart button so let's go back to design yeah we have our counter set so one of the way to drag this into your work you can drag it from here using alternates to move it down into your work well that is not always the right process to do you can just go to your assets you have it in your assets already and drag from your asset into the work you're doing now let's zoom in so yes add it to this so we've added our counter just the way we want it to look like yes 
So we can now go back to the prototype to see what we did. Yeah, start flow and play. Yeah, there we go. So this was the first and this is the second we just did. So you can see it's working just as we want it to. Let's zoom in. Yeah, perfect. So I remain Fidel Daves. You can call me Fidel. My friends call me Fidel. All my friends call me Fidel. Yeah, if you're joining, if you find this helpful in any way, uh, please click on the subscribe button 